All right, guys, this is a new eye opener. Um, my name is Brent. This is Tanya. Hey, everybody. And uh, we're trying a new uh, camera with with the eye opener today. And today's going to be a very short subject. So, uh, Miss Tanya, what did you want to bring up to the world? Okay. I was on my Facebook, and I have um, a lot of shops that share for me and for my knitting and that I share for. Mm -hmm. Well, um, I have a shop called Rainbow, and so I share for them, and I, they automatically share a lot of other plus-size shops with me for women. Well, there was... Everybody knows prom happened, what, a month ago? Uh, about two weeks ago, I think. Yeah, two weeks ago, depending on where you live. Um, there was this young lady, do not know her name. They would not give her name on Facebook. Which is good. Yes. But I can show a picture here in just a second um, of her. She was beautiful, Brent. You, I mean, you were able, I was able to show you a little bit of the... Yes, you were able to see a little bit of it. I was able to see enough of it. Yeah. She was very beautiful. She was gorgeous. She was a little big bone. Well, her teacher totally, during prom, told her that she needed to cover up that big women like her needed I to be covered I up. I think the quote was, big women like us. Yes, but I'm trying it? to... Yes, I'm trying to find the actual... I think it was big women like us need to cover up. Yes. And shamed her at her prom. And she looked gorgeous. Okay, hold on. Here. Okay, well, I went past it. Okay. Let's see. Um, okay. The teacher said, to revealing... This young student was shamed for wearing this dress to her senior prom. Her teacher claimed it was too revealing that girls like them should stay covered up. Oh, like and, them. Like, okay. And it was PlusSizeClothing.com that shared this. And I'm going to show you the picture of this beautiful, beautiful young lady. Here's a picture of the beautiful young lady. I don't know if you can see her very good, but she is gorgeous. Um, and it says at the top of it, body shaming needs to stop. And it says like and share if you agree. But I'm sorry. I'm overweight. And You are? Well, I am, I'm like the young lady. I'm big. <laughs> especially for my size. You're big bound. Yes. That's, that's what you mean. <laughs> well, however you want to put it. <laughs> I'm, sorry, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I wear strapless dresses, or dresses similar to what I'm wearing right now. Um, I, Brent, you see me in a strapless dress. Exactly. Does it look? It doesn't look nasty or anything like that. It, it's not too revealing. And I am very cautious. If it's too tight, I will even get a little pin and pin it or have it taken up in the back or whatever the case may be. And I'm sorry, but the dress I wore at prom was a whole lot more dangerous than what that young lady wore because I was losing weight at the time and literally my dress had to be rigged onto me and it was strapless. Talking about nervous dancing at all? I was very nervous dancing because that dress was pinned in places that if pins came loose, it could hurt. Hurt, yeah. <laughs> But, I mean, I was losing weight at the time. I was on some medication for my epilepsy, and it was causing me to lose weight. Yay! <laughs> but having it happen during prom was not a good idea, since my mother had the dress made for me every time the nice lady would come try it on me. Well, she had to take it in more. Take it in more. <laughs> well, in all in all, what we're saying is, yes. is stop shaming folks. Uh, stop body shaming, stop, 
stop the mess, okay? I mean, we all have our things. And nobody knows why the young lady was is made like she is. She may have a problem. She may have a thyroid problem. It, it could be. Anything. It could be a bunch of stuff. Stuff. But my point is to get back to subject. What I would like to see you do, and you do not have to do this. I'm just asking. Please post a beautiful picture of yourself in something like this dress. That's like a sundress that shows some skin. Put your, if you feel comfortable, post yourself in your bathing suit if you feel comfortable doing it. Um, we do not want any totally. No, we don't want any <laughs> nudes. Okay. okay. If you're comfortable with that, then that's great. But we are we, a family show. We are a family show. <laughs> but I want to make sure I say that. But please. Thank you. <laughs> please. I don't want to edit anything <laughs> off. You know the yes. eye opener. It's it's not not good for the blind man to be I, blinded. I, anyway, yeah, <laughs> you, you can. I've had one lady share on, just on my Facebook with me already, and she shares a couple of pictures with me. She's already shared a few. I have shared several of me. Um, some are more revealing than others. Some are less, yeah. and I feel comfortable with every one of them. There was a time my what am I what am I my self esteem was not so high, but it has grown and I'm totally comfortable with those pictures. I look at those pictures now and I see me as a beautiful woman. I see any other woman like that as a beautiful woman. Now we just need to support our own. I don't care if you're a man. If you feel comfortable posting a, something with you in a tight and a pants, muscle shirt, shirt or, or something, something like that, post, post it. it and if share you, it to the eye opener. My son, no matter how much, I'm sorry for saying this, I'm not going to get in there. My son, when he was young, he was very modest. Even during the summer, of course, he was kind of like you, he probably needed a shirt. <laughs> but I'm very pale. <laughs> He he would wear a shirt. I'm and, almost like Seamus on. Uh, <laughs> he would wear not a, that white though. He would wear a shirt during the summer to go swimming, and he was. I don't think he was so much ashamed of himself, but he didn't want everybody seeing his chest at that time. Yeah, and are making fun of him or anything, and I can understand that. Um. But still, even guys, come on, support support the people that have to wear that are a little overweight. I mean, I'm not saying underweight people should not be supported. Everybody should be supported, but I'm tired of the shaming of the plus size people. Exactly. I'm tired of people. Saying it's okay to make fun of people that look like me or this sweet young lady. I was reading a uh, an article in the New York Times yesterday, and it was it went on and on and on um, about one of the uh, Republican running running for president. Uh, people running for president, which there's only one right now, so you can guess who that is. Oh, I can um, imagine you said something <laughs> like what I think you're fixing to say. Anyway, uh, there was an article the other day in the New York Times about him and how he has this idea in his head of beautiful women and Anybody else is just put to the side. Well, we've okay, seen his folks. wife. Okay, folks. To me, everybody's beautiful. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Brent. Um, and I totally agree with you. Um, if someone's ugly, they're ugly inside to me. Exactly. They're not, I mean, and I'm sorry, but 
you've seen his wife and the kind of women he's around. Um, so, but but we will post oh. we will post this today. Uh, today is Sunday, and um, what's the date? The uh, da -da -ba -da -ba -da, 13, uh, 15th. Yes. The 15th of May. And uh, post on my Facebook uh, of the eye opener. And let us know what you think about this episode. Uh, tell us what you think about the camera. Because we're using my tablet to record this now. Because we couldn't be quiet anymore. We had to put it out there. Okay. And guys, you can ask Brent. I don't get a feather up my honey all the time, but this one's got one up, and I'm not going to be shutting up about this one for a while. All right, guys. We'll so see, have a day. We'll see you next week, and next week we will have a show. See you later. Bye-bye.